discuss just some quick questions um, on the micrometer screw gauge and the vernier calipers. So, um, according to the question there, it says the diagram below shows a micrometer screw gauge. So we can see the diagram there. We have readings both from the main scale reading and the secular reading. Okay. So the formula here say micrometer screw gauge reading is equal to main scale reading plus secular reading of course multiplied by the degree of accuracy which is 0 0.01 millimeters for a micrometer screw gauge okay so when you look at the main scale reading okay so we have the zero mark there so this is very important when an instrument starts from zero okay uh, this uh, automatically here uh, it's uh, prevention of what uh, zero errors okay zero errors okay uh, a lot of uh, instruments uh, that usually have the zero error you discover that the instrument probably was not zeroed when starting okay so if you look at the main scale reading starting from zero there so we count zero the next reading there which is down it's a 0.5 okay so that's 0 0.5 then 1.5 2.5 3.5 4.5, 6.5, um, can count again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, so we get 6.5 on the main scale reading, okay, so we have 6.5, okay, on the main scale reading, okay, on the main scale reading we have 6.5, Plus the secular reading there we said we pick the reading that is coinciding okay with the datum line okay so the datum line is the line in between there that is separating the readings on top and the readings what down okay so if we pay close attention there you find that the reading that is coinciding there it's a 13 okay it's simply what 13 okay multiply by 0 0.01 millimeter okay so we add this together uh, we get 6.5 okay first of all we multiply the 13 by 0 0.01 you get 0 0.13 millimeter then you will simplify this you get 6.63 millimeters okay uh, okay sorry it's supposed to be 6.3 um 6.63 millimeters okay 6.63 millimeters okay so according to our answers there the answer is basically what c okay the answer is basically c okay then um next question here uh we are told to also uh find we have a micrometer screw gauge okay we have a micrometer screw gauge i believe this comes in a paper paper uh paper one paper one physics okay paper one physics and then uh on section b there okay so we have uh, the figure shows the measuring device okay so they haven't uh, given us whether the measuring they haven't told us the name okay but from the diagram we can see that the, this measuring device is a micrometer screw gauge okay so question number a there okay question number a there okay a says name this measuring what device okay name the measuring what device okay name the measuring device okay so we have question 1a on our next diagram there so it's very simple here you simply state the name of this measuring device okay so we can all see that that's a micrometer screw gauge okay it's a micrometer screw gauge it's an instrument used to measure what length okay the type of length okay we did that in our previous videos okay so micrometer screw gauge okay then the next question says what is the reading shown okay question b what is the reading shown on the device okay so again here we pick 
the last reading before the secular reading starts. Okay, so we have five there. So 5.5, 6.5. 7.5, 8.15, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we are going to write the formula, okay, MSGR, meaning micrometer screw gauge reading is equal to main scale reading plus circular reading. Of course, here multiply by 0 0.01 millimeter, okay. So uh, main scale reading is 8. 0.5 okay plus the circular reading there so if we uh, would pay close attention here you notice that um, we have 20 so 21 22 23 24 25 okay so the the reading that is um, close to the datum line okay I should be coinciding there but you see the diagram okay so, um, so we pick 20, 21, 22, okay. So that would be 22 multiplied by 0 0.01 millimeter, okay. So this will be 8.5 plus, okay, we get 0 0.22, okay, millimeter. Then here is just a matter of, just a matter of, adding okay that's the matter of adding so here we're going to get 8.72 millimeter and that is the reading okay that is the what the reading okay then question c question c there okay question c there state two precautions to be taken when using this device okay very important okay what are some of the precautions that you should take okay so number one okay make sure that the instrument is zeroed okay why to avoid the zero errors okay uh, the instruments must be zeroed okay to avoid zero error okay then number two also make sure that the arm and the spindles are clean okay show that the instrument is clean okay before um, you start uh, taking your readings okay so that's that on uh, on this question pretty much easy and straightforward okay so now uh, the next question here you can see there um, question b1 okay question b1 there says uh, the diagram is showing the reading of the venia calipers okay the reading of the venia calipers okay so what is the reading shown on the venia calipers okay that's the first question okay so we have these numbers here so we'll start from five so five point one two three on the main scale okay so the uh, venia scale okay we'll write this as um Okay, we'll write this as the venia scale reading is equal to uh, main scale, okay, main scale reading plus the venia scale, what? The venia scale reading, okay. So venia calipers reading is equal to main scale reading plus the venia scale reading multiplied by 0 0.01. Of course, it's centimeters for a venia, a venia calipers, okay. So the main scale reading there, okay. So just before the venia scale starts, the last reading there you get is 5.13. Okay, so this is 5.3 plus the venia scale reading. We pick the reading that is coinciding with the main, the main scale reading. Okay, so we have 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, okay, and so on and so forth. So the reading there we can see the one coinciding with. Uh, the zero mark there it's what the three okay zero one okay so it's uh, actually let's see zero uh, let's see if that makes sense zero one two three four okay so here the tricky part about uh, this type of questions here we you have to pay close attention okay so there you need 
to see that okay, it's really not starting from zero okay the zero is just shown there but uh, the first reading there it is in zero so that should be one okay so that is one two three okay and then you have four and then it gives you what the five that is there okay it gives you the five that is uh, there okay so there again you're going to go five six seven okay and so on and so forth okay so the reading there it's basically one two three okay so that is three multiplied by zero point zero one centimeter okay so here you get five point three plus zero point zero three centimeter okay and then here you add basically adding here you get five point three three okay five point three three centimeter okay and that is the reading okay then that was uh that was question a question b okay convert the reading in a above to meters okay so we know very well that one meter is simply equal to 100 centimeter okay and then we have um 5.33 centimeter this side how many meters is it going to be okay yeah just a simple mathematical calculation here you get 100 centimeter there is equal to 5.33 centimeter okay so of course here you have this 100 centimeters being multiplied with the x so you have x there so to remain with simply um uh, x here you divide both sides by 100 okay so there you get the value for x will simply be what okay so we are converting this so it's we're simply taking the decimal point there so you have 0 0.0533 meters okay so let's see our reading in what in meters okay in meters okay write the reading in b okay one in standard notation wonderful okay so uh, sorry that is b2 okay b2 so we take this reading in standard form okay so standard form so we have 0 0.0533 meters okay in standard form so we're going to move the decimal place where okay to a point where we have only one number uh just after the decimal place okay so this gives us 5.33 okay 5.33 times 10 to the power what okay so we're going to the left side i'm still the power negative or we're going to the right side sorry so our power becomes negative what Two, okay this is what in standard what notation okay how many significant figures does the venya calipers reading in meters have okay how many significant figures okay so the venya calipers reading in meters is 0 0.0533 so the number of significant figures here according to the rules okay the zeros at the beginning there's a decimal are non-significant so these zeros are not significant so the only significant numbers here are five three and the other three okay so you have three significant figures okay three significant figures okay and that's all for this question if you have any uh, questions just uh please uh, comment on the comment section